Applied Nanoparticles SL is a technology-based startup founded on October 2013. Its purpose is to research, study and develop nanoparticles and their applications. The company's core project is the commercial exploitation of a patent based on the use of engineered iron oxide nanoparticles for enhanced biogas production, named Biogas Plus. Applied Nanoparticles' two strategic business lines, product development and knowledge management, are based on responsible research and innovation and underpinned by Applied's code of conduct. How we did get involved into RRI, how we get here, I remember in 2004 listening to Richard Smiley, the Nobel Prize in Nanotechnology. He was talking about all scientists in the planet should stop working on their normal duties to work on the energy problem. And then when we solve the energy problem, then we can go back to our jobs. And then years later, I was in a similar situation when the question of safety and security of nanoparticles and nanotechnology was raised. And that they say, well, now all nanotechnologies, we should take care about safety issues because if there is a danger in the lab, you have a canary in the mine, we will be the first to die because of nanoparticles will be the people working with nanoparticles. And that's how we started to work on nano safety, nano sustainability, and then uh, studying about toxicity in, in wastewater treatment plants of nanoparticles, we got to our idea, our invention, and then our, our company. Technically speaking, our product is based in an additive to an aerobic digestion made with magnetite nanoparticles, which is boosting the production of the biogas in an aerobic digestion. That's technically speaking. You, you got the uh, requirements of size, you got the requirements uh, of um, how persistent the nanoparticle is. You could design an, a nanoparticle that stays longer times than its use, but then you're gonna release the, the nanoparticles into the environment. And then you will need to or deal with, with the nanoparticles or actually accept the potential risk, if, if there's any. So it's much better to engineer these nanoparticles to dissolve and then you only have to deal with ions that you already know how to deal with them. This is one way to actually foresee some of the impacts of your work. We understand uh, responsible innovation as a process, as a way in which we want to take more responsibilities. For that, just uh, let me give you an example. The, our legal strategy, faced with no specific regulation for nanotechnology, you have to overcome the uncertainty that create to legal operators. Our solution there was to start from the lab, just because in order to be on the safest legal side, we need a consistent product that is safe and sustainable. That means starting the legal strategy from the lab and going above legal requirements. If we make a business, is to give added value to our customers and to make happy workers that they can have a decent work and they can pay for their bills and they can make something which is uh, minimal, constructive and interesting. And in addition, in this situation, what's the difference between cheating on your customers, abusing your workers or being profitable? I think it was a question of being uh, intelligent. So that was the challenge. I mean, we can get profit, we can get rich, making people richer, making the world better. And when we got together, the responsibility make it stronger. When we try to not use energy to produce our material, then we are making scalable. You can scale it up because there is no temperature gradient. So you, your product is much more robust. It's, it's better when you put your constraints of being responsible. So developing your technology, developing your company under responsible research and innovation principles not only make you a better person and a better citizen, make you also stronger. That's why we do it.